Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome to part 200 of Persona 3 Reload. We've made it to part 200. It's a Persona game. What do you expect? Persona 5 Royal makes it to part 400 and Persona 4 and Persona 3 make it to part 200. That's just how it goes. But the fact that we're at part 200, I'm pretty sure the Persona 3 FES playthrough ended at like 230 or like 228. It was somewhere in that range. It was like 230, give or take like 10 videos. So we should be getting pretty close to the end of Reload. I know that we're close to the end because I know what the last day of the game is. But uh, I'm interested to see exactly when it's going to end, like what my final playtime is going to be in Reload compared to in FES with the changes and all. Mitsuru is available today, so we will probably be hanging out with Mitsuru. Yeah, I think... I want to try and max out Yukari and Fuka in December and just get Mitsuru as high up as we can in December. But for right now, my main focus is get Mitsuru to at least like rank five or six as soon as possible. We just want to ensure that Mitsuru gets like past, gets past at least the halfway point social link wise as soon as she can, because when January comes around, we'll have Igus's social link to do, and Igus's social link will take up a lot of our January Hello. attention, which means all other social links need to be as close to done as possible by then. All right, Sato, are you leaving now? If that's the case, there was a place I wanted to stop by on the way back. Let's go, sister. Thank you. Thank you. It's over at the strip mall, so it shouldn't take long to get there. It piqued my interest a while ago, but I can never bring myself to go alone. So this takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. That sounds like quitter talk. I think Junpei could go through an entire octopus. <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Want me to treat you? Who do you think I am? Please, allow me to be the one to treat you. What? They don't accept credit cards. All right, I will be treating Mitsuru today. This is why you always carry cash, chat. Always, even if you just got a $20 bill on you, always carry some cash. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mmm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me. Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko... Don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Akihiko maturing? I don't know about that. I have no idea what to say here. Are you happy? I mean, you did, they've been friends for like five years or something. She should be happy. I'm, happy. I'm a genius. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Being in, being in love makes no sense here. Oh, in love with Akihiko? No, I'm a firm believer that Mitsuru and Akihiko are just like really, like they're best friends, basically. I don't, I don't buy the idea of like a Mitsuru and Akihiko romance. Anxious or sadness? 
Now, it wouldn't be sadness, it would be like bittersweet, like melancholy, which does have sadness to it, but like not just straight up sadness. I don't really like saying anxious though. I don't like any of these options. Maybe you're anxious. Anxious. Hmm. You may be right. I'll take the single music note. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. Sorry, don't mind me. Mitsuru seems to have a lot on her mind. I feel like our relationship has grown. It's a good rank up. Good rank up. I love Mitsuru. I really like her social link. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. I'm rooting for you. Hmm? I'm not sure what you mean. I don't think I know either. <laughs> I just hit the first thing I saw. That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. I guess I should have said I heard nothing, but I saw these two options and I was like, heard nothing? Mitsuru's not gonna get that joke because she's Mitsuru. So I just immediately hit the other option without even thinking about it. But now that I actually look at the two options, neither of these two options make any sense. <laughs> Whatever, I got four music notes. We call that a dub. Oh, welcome back. You're late. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. My boy, it's past your bedtime. Is his scarf clipping into the couch? Oh, hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. They couldn't, when doing this scene, they couldn't see, like, oh, hey, his scarf is kind of clipping there. Should we, like, move him a foot to the right? Nah, it's fine. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Was that Ryoji-san? Who else has a scarf like that? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Kirijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. You gotta respect a man shooting a shot. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei-kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, ai I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. Probably not something to say to the dude who just had the love of his life die a week ago in his arms. I'm a machine, so I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? But you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Don't worry about me. I'm a gamer. Understood. You are very special to me. 
I can't explain why. But I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs. To be there for you always. Uh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Peace out. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. I don't think I've talked about it much in this playthrough. I... I think I vaguely remember when I first played FES, Igus' original VA got on my nerves a little bit with how long she sounded robotic. But looking back on it, I really, and knowing more about Igus, and especially after playing Arena and Arena Ultimax, I kind of like how Igus in the original game had her voice slowly become more human. They probably made it take too long for her to start sounding more human for my tastes. But I do feel like Reload has kind of lost a little bit of Igus's like, charm as a character by making her voice actress just give her, like, a default kind of robot voice from the get-go instead of being more robotic-sounding and then slowly getting more and more human-esque in her, like, voice and, like, her tone over time. By the way... I think that was a mistake on uh, on this version of the game, not having Igus. I would have appreciated if they didn't have Igus do the full on like slow robot speech for a long while in Reload, because I think they did it too long in FES from what I remember. But like if for the first like month or two after you get Igus, she had like the robotic voice that slowly got more human. I think that would have been good. And it's kind of, uh, I, th I think it's a negative that they just did away with that idea entirely in Reload. I don't know if that was a decision by, like, the developers and they, like, told the voice actress, like, hey, don't do that. Or if it was the voice actress who was like, I'm not going to do that. I have no idea. Does Igasan not get along well with Ryo Does not get along with- I can't read. Does Igasan not get along with Ryoji-san very well? He's a strange guy, but I think he's plenty polite and interesting. Yeah, I raised that boy right. Don't worry, Kormara-san. I won't do anything reckless. So, um... Ryoji-san is dangerous. I'm certain of it. Things are fine for now, but one day that will change. Please do not worry, though. I will be there to protect you. I hope my son is there to protect me from you, honestly. I was about to go up and watch some of the recordings, but I don't think I want to do that. For I want to get to the full moon for part 200 instead of watch some of the recordings. So I think we're just going to like get this day to go. I don't think we have anything to do. I guess we're going to like hang out with Mitsuru. There's like nothing else to do, so... Tomorrow night. I can't remember. Is it you get to do something on the last day of the deadline, right? It's on the zero the zero day where they just make you do the cutscenes. I'm thinking of taking a break from everything. Cup of tea would be nice. I will join you, yes. I'd love to, madam. Wonderful. I'll start the preparation. Why don't we try adding some spice today? Go ahead and blend it however you like. Mitsur with her hair up takes her from like S plus tier waifu to S plus plus tier, by the way, for anyone curious. I enjoyed brewing tea with Mitsuru. I would enjoy doing just about anything with Mitsuru, to be fair. Oh, I always find this to be so relaxing. I suppose you could call it a moment of bliss. You get music notes when you hang out with them if you already have their social link? That is incredible news and fantastic. We need to hang out with Fuka at night as soon as she's available again. I'm pretty, like, uh, there's no other reason should we get that music note there, right? We've got to hang out with Fuka ASAP. Let me know whenever you're in the mood for more tea. I'd be happy to treat you. Any amount of being able to get social link points at night, I will gladly take. We need it. We need it badly. Oh. Hello, it's me. 
Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day. I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also, I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sweep her death under the rug. Mm, she's talking about Chidori. And of course, I'll take full responsibility. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified. The body? <sighs> Oh, did we did we save Chidori? Does Chidori get to survive? Paul, if so. But judging by the post mortem, we were certain she was. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes, yes, absolutely. Right then. What is going on? I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. Pog champion? It's almost my birthday. The full moon is on my birthday, oh no. Class is ended for today. I got a message from Yoji. Looked like he wasn't at school today. Maybe something urgent came up. I wanna see you come to the music room. Sorry for the short notice, but I need to see you right now. Mmm, Ryoji's acting weird. I should head to the music room. Okay, so that's probably gonna use our day, unfortunately. Yeah. We're gonna have to hang out with Ryoji. I'm glad to get another Ryoji scene, but it does suck that that's another day we're not getting to rank up. Keisuke is ready to rank up, so is Bebe, which is less important. Kenji and Kaz both are not ready to rank up, which is really annoying. I think we have the December exams coming up. They're like in the middle of December. I think I remember the game saying it was like the 16th or something. When that happens, We'll end up having probably two, maybe even three days where there's no one to hang out with. I'm gonna hang out with Nozomi on those days when he's available and Mamoru when he's available because those are only two options, I think, on exam weeks. But on days where we have nothing to do, I will probably go do the shrine like tarot reading to get music notes with Kaz and Kenji so we can try and max them out that way without having to do extra hangouts. I would love to hang out with Mitsuru today, but we gotta we gotta go hang out with my son. My son says he wants to hang out. Ryoji-san didn't come to school today. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Ryoji is absent today, man. Class seems so quiet without him. Never realized till now, but he had the sort of presence that'd liven up the room. Yeah. I taught him well. Alright, Ryoji's down in the music room, which is right over here. There he is. All right, let's do it. The music room is quiet. That reminds me, Ryoji said he wanted me to come to the music room. I will spend some time with Ryoji. Can't pass that up. The day before my birthday. Hey, thanks for coming. What happened? How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks? It hasn't been that long since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. All those piano lessons I paid for finally paid off, chat. He's gonna go to nationals. Just like this. Wow. I guess I wanted you to hear this song. When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, 
I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? Wait, wait, wait. Best friends? Why are you bringing this up? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. That was my son. I'm very proud of him. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Is Ryoji gone? Did he just nothing personnel kid me? Ryoji was just... Not yet. He's a ghost. Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but... Is Ryoji Danny Phantom? I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? Fuka and I left the music room and returned to the dorm. The melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. Oh, my persona stats. Seth grows ever stronger. Oh, dude, the boots I ordered. The shoes of Bane from Batman. Welcome back. Sup, dude? Tomorrow's a full moon. Not like that means anything anymore, though. You want to bet? Man, there's nothing to do. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll hang out with Ryoji. Didn't see him at school today, but he was probably just ditching, so he should be around. No, wait, crap. I don't know where he lives. Where does Ryoji live during this? Uh, we're gonna hang out with Fuka tonight because I know that we could hang out with Tanaka, but I want the music note with Fuka because she's not ready to rank up right now. Ryoji asked Mitsuru out? I'm surprised he's still alive. Used to think he was all talk. I guess he's got guts of his own. Hey! This feels kind of weird, huh? There's a full moon tomorrow, but nothing's happening. It's almost too quiet. Well, I, I just, I just that just, what? That should be guess. I guess that just goes to show we're back to our ordinary everyday lives. Someone fire the translators. They made a single mistake in a Persona game, which is over 60 hours of text to translate, etc. But for some reason, I feel a little restless. Uh, <clears throat> I guess said something akin to the idea that as a machine, she is replaceable. She may have been programmed that way, but it's still painful to hear. So... Minato-san, I swear that I will protect you, come what may, so please do your best on your exams. By the way... There's gonna be a full moon soon, isn't there? I know there's not much else we can do, but I can't help but feel a little restless. Guess I'll just have to deal with it. Alright, I think I have to get rid of the... plants that are up here, because I can't remember the last time we harvested plants. But then we will hang out with Fuka with the plant stuff to get a music note with her, hopefully. And also, before I forget, let me look at those new shoes I got. 90 Evasion, Null's Dark Insta-Kill. Mm, yours are better. Yours are better. So it's just me if I want them. I have the Vernal Sandals. Medium Wind Evasion? Yeah, I'll just Null Dark Insta-Kill. That's fine. Alright, give. Leafy Spinach. Don't plant. We're about to plant with What's-Her-Face. Is there anything else going on up here? I don't think I've ever looked around up here. All right, doesn't look like it. All right. Let's hang out with Fuka, and hopefully this music note is like upping her social link like I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's social, like the music notes only show up when you get a stat up and when you get a, uh, a social link increase, I'm pretty sure, so. What are you doing? Do you want to go check the rooftop planters together? Let's do it. I need more points with you because you're being finicky about maxing out. Let's do more buff potatoes. Plant. Uh -huh. Let's head to the rooftop. Fuka is working silently. The smell of the soil really makes it feel like we're growing something, doesn't it? 
All right, I can figure out if this is actually helping the social links or not by the next time we look and see if Fuka is available, if she's ready to rank up, because she was not ready to rank up last time I looked. So if she's ready to rank up now, then that music note did it. And if it still says she's not ready to rank up, we should do one more nighttime hangout with her before deciding it is or is not helping the social link. Because it might just need more than one. That about does it. Shall we head back downstairs? Full moon time on my birthday of all days. Happy birthday to me. Good morning. I intend to do my best to protect everyone, even if that means I. We're counting on you. Yes. Understood. Hey, do I get to do something today? Class is ended for today. Oh, I actually get to do a hangout on this day. I thought that I wouldn't get this day. That's awesome. Dude, I just flew out the door and Ryoji didn't turn up today either. Weird, huh? Yeah, it's wild. I wonder if it has to do with the plot. Oh my goodness. Like everyone is available and they all want to rank up. Except Nozomi does not want to rank up. Mamoru. Why everyone is available on Wednesdays? What the heck? Wednesday is the day, brother. The strongest of all hump days. Uh, we're gonna hang out with Mitsuru, obviously, even though we are super spoiled for choice. If Mitsuru is available, we hang out with her until we get Mitsuru to, like, at least rank six. I think at rank six, we can start to be like, eh, maybe today we get Yukari to nine and then we hang out with Mitsuru tomorrow kind of energy, you know? Let's get her to rank four. I have to visit the library today to study up on business administration and management. If you aren't too busy, perhaps you could help me. Absolutely, because I have Gabriel. Let's do it, girl. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. That said, I'm certain I know where to find what I'm looking for. Shouldn't take up too much time. Truth be told, asking you to come along was just an excuse. I hope we'll have some time to chat afterwards. You know, there's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. What's next for you? Well... Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? Oh, here we go. So, you know, any relationship, it's about compromise. Honestly. I mean, also you should marry someone you love, clearly. But like, you have to love them and also be willing to compromise because that's what it means to love someone. I don't know about that. All right, Mitsuru, I love you, but you're wrong. Compromise is something that can only occur if both sides are willing. Yeah, that's why you don't marry someone unless you want to. <laughs> or are you speaking from experience? My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons. But as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? No, I mean, that can happen, but it can also go wildly wrong. Why would you ever, what a, what a, what a question. That's, that's a tough one, sister. could speak with my father one last time, I would ask him directly. <sighs> I lent an ear to Mitsuru. Alright, not my best rank up ever. I think this was another case of the classic. I I'm realizing it more as we played Reload again, and I was joking about it with some friends the other day. Persona 3 really wants you to give bad answers. They want you to give answers that, like, pe like your confidant wants to hear instead of what is the correct thing to say that like they kind of need to hear 
And so when you answer things that you're like, this makes sense. This is what you should say. Don't don't tell Kaz to go break his knee for his nephew or whatever. That's dumb. But it's like, but if you want the music notes, then you need to you need to say the other thing. I didn't love the dialogue options in this rank up. They were pretty bad, to be honest. We did get the rank up though. Rank four, she might not be ready for rank five because I got no music notes here though. Hopefully we can hang out with her at night to fix that, maybe. Looks like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. We left the library and returned to the dorm. Do I get to do anything at night, or do we go straight into cutscenes? We get to do something, I guess. Hi, how was your day? There will be a full moon tonight, but we won't be conducting an operation. I was thinking I might summon Juno and search around a little just in case, though. Oh, by the way, have you seen Aegis Arisato-kun? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Hmm, Aegis has been coming home late recently. She didn't used to. I wonder if something happened. I hope she's okay. Hmm. I guess didn't like Ryoji-kun from the moment she met him. Do you think they just have clashing personalities or something? Eh, something like that. Um... It's probably because he's always flirting. To be honest, I don't really like him that much either. Well, I, I don't like you that much, Yukari. How dare you speak about my son that way? There's a full moon tonight, so I'll be keeping... I'll be up keeping an eye on things with Juno, just in case. Let's go to Tartarus another night, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to go to Tartarus tonight anyway. Um, there's really no point in hanging out with Junpei because he doesn't have a social link. There is nothing else to do, however. Games! We could get unlimited games, chat. Or no games. Uh, I mean, I guess we're gonna hang out with Junpei just for lack of anything else to do, right? The only thing that we have to do at night is we need to hang out with our female social links to get points with them, assuming that that is working the way I think it does. And then we need to hang out with Tanaka four more times. I actually want to look at my social links really quickly. What the heck is my phone going? Oh. Amber alert. Uh, Fuka only needs two more ranks. I just want to take a look at this. We got Mitsuru to four, but she probably needs two hangouts before five, unless we can get some lucky hangouts for it. Um, this should max out pretty soon. I don't remember exactly when this max out. It might actually be the next deadline now that I think about it. It might be at the end of December that it maxes out and then Judgment takes its place. Mitsuru's already at four, which is good. Odagiri is still at six. He is on the chopping block as one of the people we, not, we might not max out. I'm sure we'll hang out with him at least one, if not two more times. Unless we can actually manage to max all the social links, hopefully. Yukari is ready for nine, which is good. She's very close to being done. Maya's at eight. Like, we can definitely get Maya and Akinari both to ten. That's no problem. But also, we might not hang out with Maya on Sundays just so I can hang out with Mamoru instead so that I can leave days open for Mamoru. I think our next two Sundays go to Akinari and we max him out and then we figure out what we're going to do with Sundays between Mamoru and Maya and how I'm going to do that. Because if I can give Sundays to Mamoru instead, then whatever weekday I would hang out with Mamoru, I can hang out with someone else. You know what I mean? Tanaka is like guaranteed. I'm at least gonna get Bebe to five. We'll probably try and get him to seven because if I can max out all the social links, then I need to start ranking up Bebe and of course Mitsuru, who's gonna be one of our main focuses. Because looking at these numbers, it looks pretty possible depending on how the remaining free days shake out. I, I, think, I think December is, the exams in December is the only remaining like hey, you don't get, like, days to hang out during because all the people are busy with exams. But even in that week, we get to hang out with Mamoru and Nozomi, and we could go to the shrine and get support points. So... Ba -da -ba. Let's just hang out with Junpei, why not? Hey, hey, if you're gonna do some gardening, I'll come too. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Why not? I got nothing better to do tonight. All right. Let's get to it. You're gonna be a tasty little fella. Don't stop growing, you hear? Extra care is paying off. I'd say that's a mighty fine work. Let's head back downstairs. 
Yeah, and Music Note doesn't come up with Junpei. The girls must be getting social link points. It has to be. That's so useful. I love that. Ah, uh, here we go. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird, and there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You... You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... my enemy. Your... enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was... a long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis. The last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. Asterisk for Labrys there? I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. That's so metal and definitely what I put on his birth certificate. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? By the way, this is one of the stupidest things in Persona 3. Sealed away? I guess can just seal shadows in human beings, I guess. That's just a thing that they say with full confidence in the last, like, 15 hours of the game. And are like, yeah, we'll never explain it. Just deal with it. We didn't really think it through either. Stronger than before. I'm 
machine is created to serve a specific purpose. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing! It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. One shot. I can't carry out my mission. I'm a machine. I can't fulfill its purpose. I have no reason to exist. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm scared. That was a sick cutscene. You know, uh, did something happen? That was a sick cutscene. I love that moment. Shout out to my son, one shotting Igus. She never stood a chance. Yukari, what's the matter? Well, I realize it's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh God, I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait, is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge! All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. Koromaru, first responder. He's the best. I guess... I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. What happened? I'm sorry. You are really bad at answering questions. This is why my son beat you. You have no reason to apologize. You? ryoji -kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... I guess is no longer moving. She's sparking a lot, though. She appears to have stopped functioning. Ah, oh, that sucks. What is going on? It's... all my fault. You did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows and about me. I can't. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the Appraiser. That's you? That's right. This maternal being... What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But 
The unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. No one will question Igis' ability to seal shadows into random seven-year-olds. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. You weren't even paying rent. Unbelievable. I raised you better than this. Inside me. But how... And when his persona awakened, the twelve shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? Thank you for the recap, Junpei. How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? You haven't watched enough anime. That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! It seems he fell unconscious. He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. Yeah, okay. What I've just heard was shocking. Ryoji lived inside me for 10 years, waiting to make contact with the 12 shadows. Then does that mean the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji all along? Yeah, yeah, indeed. So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. We took Ryoji and Igus home, the air surrounding us frigid and somber. What a birthday for me, chat. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. All right, so we're probably not going to get to hang out with anyone today, which is unfortunate, but I think this is the only day we're going to lose. And then we should have, I'm pretty sure, I, I might be remembering wrong. We have the December exams, but I feel like the majority of your December and January deadline, you're able to hang out with people all you want for the most part. It looks like we're all here. Are you okay, ryoji -kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? The maternal being. Junpei, can you, like, not be useless for one conversation? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Everyone seems to have arrived at the same conclusion. There's no way Junpei came to the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost. Leading to the extinction of mankind. Well, you know, mankind kind of had it coming, to be fair. And the end of the world. The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. 
I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. Okay, listen. I don't... Uh, once again, I just want to make this clear. I'm not saying that this voice actor is bad. I am saying, however, I very specifically remember this scene in FES because of how incredible Yuri Lowenthal's delivery was, where his voice was, like, barely above a whisper and it sounded like he was about to, like, start crying when he said, I'm sorry, along those lines. This VA does not nail Ryoji's important parts, and it's kind of upsetting because I know that Yuri Lowenthal absolutely killed it as Ryoji in FES. Definitely Ryoji, probably my least favorite of the new voice actors. And I'm sure I'm a little biased in that claim because I really like Ryoji. He's one of my favorites from Persona 3. And Yuri Lowenthal, his original VA, is my favorite voice actor of all time. But I feel like I feel like Ryoji's new voice actor has not been doing Ryoji the service he deserves. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? But it's winter. Everyone is at a loss for words. It's inevitable the entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. Yeah, according to Ryoji. When? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? Nick Schmix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? Honestly, Junpei's right. I'm a gamer. You can't win. Bet. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable. Like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him, and because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. For three months. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Okay, so maybe for like seven months. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. yoji -kun. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. Ryoji doesn't realize that I'm built different. I have failed my son. He doesn't understand how amazing I am. And I don't want to put you through something like that. Ah, oh, it's nice. I, I raised him to be empathetic. What a good boy. I could never kill you. This is something only you can do. No one else. Well, 
I definitely don't want my memories erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Yukari must have played Persona 4. Is that really such a bad thing? Ryoji has not played Persona 4 because I told him to play 5 first and he hasn't gotten around to 4 yet. My bad. If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. I'm gonna hang out with so many people. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Ryoji, wait! Stop, Jinpei-kun! I felt Ryoji-kun's presence vanish just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. Really should not have taught him instant transmission. Once again, that's my bad. <laughs> Ryoji-kun. I guess... he'll be back. Ryoji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. Mankind is destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. I can't think clearly right now. How do you even choose the way you want to die? I still get to do something tonight? That's insane. An unavoidable end? This can't be happening. I won't accept it. <clears throat> Ryoji, that crazy guy. He's gotta be out of his mind, spewing all that crap out of nowhere. This is lame, man. I just don't get it. Life is I'm wild. Sorry. sorry I don't feel like talking right now. Relatable. <laughs> I've never truly thought about my own life ending. It feels like everything I thought I knew has been destroyed. <sighs> so we're all gonna die. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's how life works. No matter how much we want to live, there's no escaping death. Welcome to existing. <laughs> Everyone is gonna die, what the heck? We're all just trying to live our lives the best we can. And now what, it's all just gonna end? You gotta be kidding me. That is the way it goes. Uh, literally nothing to do tonight, it turns out. But this is probably, I think I have a couple of minutes left, but this is probably the best place to stop for today, to be honest. Well, no, let's do something and, like, get to, like, see if we get any cutscenes for tomorrow and all, because I think I still have, like, four minutes. I really, I would rather part 200 be, like, an hour and four minutes long instead of it be, like, 57 minutes long. That's a me thing. I don't like it when they're a little short. Um, chat, is there anything cool I can do? Or is, like, the only thing I can really do go to Game Parade and, like, get a stat up on Seth? Is, is there anything else that I could possibly do? Has Reload added anything, or is there anything from FES I'm forgetting? The PC? What's the point in using the PC? Will it actually do anything worthwhile? Games. Unlimited games. Okay, the PC here. I have people in chat are saying the PC. Should I spend my time using the computer? I mean, I guess I can. It would today form note, sure. Let me see what this URL leads to. It was at iForum. Looks like a message board for locals. Most recently updated topic is new secret about the vending machine in front of the station. I'll take a look at this thread. All right, all right, hit me. Anonymous Tin, when are they gonna fix that vending machine? Wait, what's the secret? You can actually still buy drinks that are marked as sold out. The machine's broken, so there's drinks marked sold out when it's not. Just press the button. I recommend the four biotic pack. Looks like drinks that are marked as sold out can still be bought. I should try it out when the vending machine's in front of Iwotodai. Okay, that's funny gotten late, I should head back to my room. I 
It's Friday. Hey, hey. Do my ears work? My ears work, chat pog! I can hear people talking. And then... I heard some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. I heard the same thing. They're saying it puts people at ease, right? You think it's some kind of new religion? I think I get what they mean, though. What? No way. Are you seriously falling for that? It's all a scam. The first bell is wrong. You can buy a note from the club to use at the PC to boost social links? Excuse me? Nighttime social link buffs? How dare they not just tell me, like, hey, you can do that? Oh, new requests, baby. I'm mad. I should have been informed of that, like, eight months ago. There's no way I can concentrate on school now, man. Let's get going. Wait, where do I go to do this? Where is it, chat? Is it the net cafe? The club? What do you mean by club? Tell me. I'm mad that the game didn't immediately point it out to me. Look at all these people who need music notes that I could be doing at night. If we can up music notes at night, I'm actually, like, I've suddenly become confident that we can max out all the social links in this playthrough. You can only buy it late game in Escapade. Okay, so I have to go to Escapade at night, so I can't... Okay, yeah. 3k per note? I don't care how much it costs. I'm, like, loaded. I have so much money, that's not a problem. So we're probably gonna hang out with Odagiri or Bebe, then. And start using the nighttime thing to get everyone else points, like Mitsuru and Fuka. At Escapade. We're gonna do that next stream for sure. For today, let's just go check out these new requests and then wrap up. Good day. Hello. Something I can assist you with? I still need to take you to my room. Request. We'll do that next stream. Bring me my Christmas present. Get Elizabeth's Christmas present from Santa. I hate this game. <laughs> Retrieve the progress report? By all means. Please bring me the progress report from the top of Flora. Oh, there. Okay, so there's not another document, but there's this progress report. Okay, so this has got to be at the very end, I think, then. 150k yen, holy cow. Create a I persona with Auto Maruku. That should be easy. Be I think I actually had a persona with Auto Maruku and then I got rid of it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can make that happen. Dojigira Yasasuna? You can find it in special treasure chests on the upper floors of Haraba. Okay, yeah, so this is another, um... This is another mini boss chest. By we can make that means. happen. Christmas has brought good cheer to everyone recently. I hear you may even receive a present during oh, this period. Yes. A figure called Santa supposedly flies all over the world, giving gifts to those considered nice. However, I have yet to receive mine. I believe he must have forgotten it, or worse, misplaced it. May it trouble you to pick up my present By from this Santa? Means. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> That's up through 97. 96, 5, 4, 3, 2. We don't have 91. We don't have 91. There's 90. I think we have most of the 80s now. 81, 3, 5, 6, 7. 1, 3, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have 8 and 9. 8 and 9. And then 90 is this one. We don't have quest 91. And then we have 92, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, wait, we do have 91. No, we just have 90. 6, 7. Assuming there are 100 requests, we're just missing request... Are we just missing 91 and then 98, 99, 100, which might unlock in the last thing? If there are 100 requests, it's actually looking like we can get them all done, which would be really pog. That'd be super cash money. I would love that. Okay, well, I'm really glad to hear about this nighttime yeah, social link thing. That is a, an incredible improvement to the game. I wish that the game had been more straightforward about that specifically and been like, oh, you can even like, maybe you can even get social link ups from this or whatever. But, um, all right, I think we're done for today. That should definitely be an hour for part 200. When we come back next time, we will hang out with Pepe or Odagiri and then start doing this nighttime escapade thing so that we can get, uh, we can try and max out all the social links. I think we might be able to do it. Yo, 69 hours, Pog. For those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to catch streams live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell.